Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, Mason Man delivers his goodbye message. Why is this a problem? We'll explore this. A few people on social media are getting a bit irate about this. We're going to talk about a whole heap of transfer news in regards to Ryan Cherokee. Matthias Franca, I believe his name, might be a first-team player. And then whole heap of outgoings. I need to touch base with you guys. And, of course, the players. The players are back in Cobham training ground. Whole heap of pictures to share with you guys from Cobham's training today and barbecue that Maurizio Pochettino held. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Here we go back again on the other side of the coin. Welcome back to the other side of the coin, ladies and gentlemen. First up, the goodbye message that's been delivered by Mason Mount. It's been shared in, on Instagram, uh, on his Instagram page, and Fabrizio Romano just shared it on Twitter. Do check that out. I'm not going to go through the entire details of that particular video. All I'm going to say is that when I first saw the video, I was like, okay, it seems like a genuine um, you know, goodbye message. But then I saw the backlash on social media, and I got to think a little bit more. And a lot of people are very unhappy about you know, what, what, what he was saying, or it felt very scripted. He said in the video that he didn't want to have a written statement. He thought that he does, you know, the, the Chelsea fan base deserved a video format of a goodbye. And a lot of people were saying, well, thank you for the video format, but it's, it's still scripted. You're reading off a particular script from your PR team. But all of that, honestly, it didn't bother me too much up until I saw this from Uber Chelsea. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comment section if this is actually true or not. Mason Mount today at Carrington versus Mason Mount's goodbye video at uh, to Chelsea fans today. Have a look at two pictures. It's been in his drafts for weeks. The weirdo. This is, <clears throat> excuse me. This is coming from Uber Chelsea. Look, it, it, is this true? I mean, obviously he was doing his medical uh, at Carrington today. Apparently, this is the picture. Look at his hairstyle there, and look at his hairstyle in the video. This guy had the video drafted. And I think this particular hairstyle was when he just went on the holiday straight after the season ended. So this was in his drafts for probably about a month. Like, come on, man. Why does this need to be on your draft? If you feel something so close to your heart, you should be able to just pick up the phone, do a video, and send a message to the Chelsea fan base. He had this program months, at least a month ago, that he was leaving Chelsea Football Club. So... I mean, kudos to his PR team to be able to um, <laughs> guide him in this particular manner. Uh, it's been caught by by people out there. But, yeah, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, do let me know what you think about all of this. Um, I find it quite strange, man. I really do find it quite strange. Um, look, bottom line, good riddance. Uh, yeah, he's gone to Man United. The saga has finished. It is what it is, but I found that whole thing a little bit strange and quite funny but you let me know in the comment section what you felt about that manchester united will unveil mason mount as new signing on wednesday morning mount said goodbye to chelsea fans as expected then will be announced as new manchester united player tomorrow there you go he's going to be announced as manchester united very very soon okay next up this is where it gets really interesting for us incoming news some football london understands chelsea are considering making a move for ryan Cherky. Scouts watched him several times this uh, last season whilst tracking Marlo Gusto. There you go. So this is apparently nothing new. We've been tracking him, which is great stuff. And I want to share a bit of extra news here from Felix. Understand Matthias Franca is currently seen as a first-team player, not a lone player. Franca is seen as a fluid attacking midfielder, right winger profile in first-team squad and will be assessed in pre-season if deal is completed. Chelsea registered interest in Ryan Cherky during talks on Pulisic. So, uh, I mean, both of these players, Ryan Cherky and Matthias Franco, ladies and gentlemen, seems like there's genuine interest and seems like they are potentially going to be first-team players. I wanted to know what the plan was for um, Matthias Franco. Uh, I didn't want us to keep stockpiling all of these players, but it seems like he might be slotting in in the first-team squad. Ryan Cherky, I'm very, very excited. Some some of you guys have seen the comments. You're not really too excited about another youngster coming into Chelsea. Um, you know, what is the what is the plan with all of these players? Look, with Ryan Cherky, I believe we, we've lost a lot of players, right? And obviously we needed to trim down the squad, but we do need to have some sort of uh backup in 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 midfield and you know players like 
Matthias Franka, players around Turkey, um, will still be squad players. And, you know, they're young. They're both 19-year-olds, I'm pretty sure. Ryan Cherky is 19 and Matthias Franka is 19 as well. Um, there shouldn't be any pressure on them to, to you know, start on a week-to-week -week basis. I think they can slowly adapt. And uh, both of them apparently have some sort of creativity about them. And, and this is exactly what we need. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat is absolutely playing up. This is exactly what we need at Chelsea Football Club. So um, I'm, I'm fine with that. I know some of you guys want more experience. You, you've had enough with all of these youngsters. But let's let's see. Let's see where it takes us. I know we still have Santos. We still have Cesare Cassidy, Um But I think I think some of those players might go on loan. Uh, Chukamika as well. Um, Chelsea seem to be more interested in regards to Ron Cherky and Matthias Franca. So let, let's see what happens, man. I'm a little bit confused as to what is going on with all of these youngsters. I'm not even going to lie. I can't, I can't sit here and make a reasoning as to how all of these pans out because for me, it seems very chaotic. I think some of these players will be loaned out to Strasbourg, to wherever else. But then some of these players might also have future at Chelsea Football Club as first team players. So Let's see what happens. Let's see exactly what goes down. Next up, Lyon's transfer window incoming and now blocked. 21 million for Pulisic will no longer be happening over AC Milan. This is why breaking the DNCG, French football's financial watchdog, moves to sanction Lyon for the 2023-24 season due to financial irregularities in the budget presented by John Texter. The DNCG will prevent wage bill inflation and be able to block transfer incomings this season. So all of that. 25 million, lovely 25 million from Lyon for Christian Pulisic is not going to happen. They're in trouble financially um, in terms of incomings. Seems like there is a bit of a suspension for Lyon. So all lights, green lights towards AC Milan. Let's get this done. Let's move him to uh, AC Milan. But AC Milan got to do a little bit better. This is where Christian Pulisic needs to talk to his agents and then you know, push AC Milan as well to say, hey, come on, uh, try and meet somewhere in the halfway line. Uh, Leon wanted to give 25 million. Of course, that is null and void now. But somewhere around 20 million is probably respectable for someone like Christian Pulisic. I need Christian Pulisic gone. Uh, Preseason has now started. But by the time uh, the plane leaves for the USA tour, I need Christian Pulisic gone. I can't have Christian Pulisic be at Chelsea Football Club during that time. Much like Hakim Ziyech, much like Aubameyang, much like um, sorry, not Ruben Loftus, Romelu Lukaku and Hudson Odoi as well. This is some latest news in regards to Hudson Odoi. All of these players, they need to leave. Before we head off for the US tour, they need to go. Chelsea have indicated their willingness to cancel Callum Hudson Odoi's contract if he was willing to halve his wages. The club would then pay him the remainder and terminate his contract, paving the way for him to join another club of his choice as free agent. Look, a lot of people were quite upset with this situation, thinking, oh, I can't believe we're treating an academy player like this. I think this is beneficial for Kyle Matsunodoy. To be able to leave on a free and then go out there and literally just negotiate with anyone and any club out there, that's perfect scenario for Kyle Matsunodoy. You don't want to get into a situation where you might like a particular club, but then you know the transfer negotiations with Chelsea might not work out. So I think this is actually a pretty good offer if it is true. You know, Chelsea is willing to give you half your wages for the remaining season. I think he's got one more year left in his contract. And the other half, just let it go, mate. Let it go. Giving you the opportunity to go out there on a free. I think that actually works out well for Callum Antonadoy. Callum Antonadoy has decided to leave Chelsea. This is coming from Simon Johnson. So, um, yeah, it, it seems like he... He is on the way out, and he needs to be on the way out. There is no future for him at Chelsea Football Club. Crystal Palace have made contact with um, Hudson Odoi's agent. Look, if wherever, look, it doesn't matter to me. Whatever you want to do in your future, do it. Me personally, I don't think he's good enough for the Premier League. He really should have considered the Saudi Arabia, um, you know, bid or whatever Saudi Arabia offer. If there was an offer, it seems like they're might have been an offer. Saudis did reach out to him and then talk to his agents. Um, he's probably championship level, man, if I'm being absolutely honest. This guy didn't cut it at Bundesliga. Like, can you imagine? He needs to start from base level again and really try and build his career up. I think Premier League, playing for Crystal Palace, I don't even think he's going to start ahead of Elise, 
ahead of um, you know Ize, ahead of they've got some really really good talented players over there. I know perhaps um, Wilfred Zaha is going to move on, but he's not going to take he's not going to be a replacement for Wilfred Zaha. Wilfred Zaha is a top top player. Callum Tanadoy, honestly, he's probably below average if I'm being absolutely honest about this situation. Now, a little bit about Hakim Ziyech. Hakim Ziyech on Instagram, knee problem. Ziyech is back in training at Chelsea and he's saying knee problem, right? I mean, I don't get this guy, man. I love this guy, but I feel like what is going on, Hakim Ziyech? You're coming here on Instagram mocking the situation. Do you actually have a knee problem? What what went down? What happened with Al Nasser? Because Al Nasser is saying that you failed medical and now you're here mocking the situation almost to say that there's nothing wrong with your knee. So... Look, Ziyech, as much as I love you, brother, you need to leave. I don't need all of these shenanigans at Chelsea Football Club, especially not this season. Maurizio Pochettino simply doesn't need this. Ziyech, please find the next destination and leave. Don't be laughing around. Don't be doing all of these Instagram messages. Do you want to be a Chelsea player? It doesn't look like you want to be a Chelsea player. So please, let's move on. Aubameyang is liked by Steven Gerrard, who has just taken over at Saudi Club Al Ittifa. It was a couple of weeks ago, Stephen Gerrard saying, oh, there's no rumors about me going to Saudi. But now he has signed up with the Saudi club, Al Ittifaq, Saudi Pro League, looking looking unbelievable, the kind of recruitment they're, they're doing. Aubameyang, another player, needs to leave. If there is an offer, this is coming from Matt Law, um, uh, with Al Ittifaq, Stephen Gerrard apparently likes him. Oba, consider it. My man, make the money. This is probably going to be a lucrative offer. Go to Saudi Arabia. No reason for you to come to Chelsea it just didn't work out and I don't want to see him anywhere in this preseason at all so hurry up and move Aubameyang much like Ziyech, Pulisic, Oba and Lukaku as well make up a bomb squad of players the club want to sell before next Wednesday it has to be done before next Wednesday it really does if we can somehow manage to get all of this done by the end of this week that will be prudent but yeah before next Wednesday before the squad is announced for the USA tour these players have to leave, ladies and gentlemen. I just don't want any trouble this preseason at all. Any sort of bad vibes throughout this preseason. Breaking Newcastle United are considering making a move for Trevor Chalaba, another player that seems to be on the out. Um, I had no issues keeping Trevor Chalaba, but looks like he is surplus to requirements once again. And if there is an offer from Newcastle, I've got no issues, man. Let's move him on. Um, I, I do like him. I, I think he is a decent defender, but at the same time, we've got Liwa Colwell. Hopefully, he's and, and Chalaba leaving and Kulibali already gone. That should give Liwa Colwell every indication that you are going to be one of the mainstays of Chelsea Football Club. So, we've got Liwa Colwell, we've got Wesley Fofana, we've got Thiago Silva, and we've got Buddy Shields. So, I know Buddy Shields injured at the moment, but there's four CBs. We're potentially going back to the two CBs situation, formation. And we don't have that many games to go by. So, uh, you know, four should be enough, even if there's injuries. Mauricio Pochettino wants four centre-backs in first season. There you go. He only wants four centre-backs. However, if no solution can be found for Chalaba, all parties are happy to continue working together at Chelsea. So, look, I think Chalaba has aspirations of making it to Euros um, for England. So, if you want to do that, you, you're going to need you know, regular football. So, it's on his in his best interest to leave and... and seek regular football and Newcastle is in Europe so they're going to have a lot of games to go by um, you could potentially play there and, and get some game time Pochettino wants to work with players who want to be at Chelsea sources fear a B team training group could be created by Pochettino for players who have not clinched and move away see this is what I want to stay away from creating a B team and the B team creating a bad vibe for the A team and you don't want to get into this situation. This is exactly what Thomas Tuchel did last season. If you guys remember, Thomas Tuchel put aside the players that he felt did not deserve to be in the part of the first team. And that created a bit of rift between the teams, between the players. You know, some players didn't talk to each other, this, that, the other. We don't want to have that scenario again. Please, let's find a solution for the remaining players that need to leave Chelsea Football Club and let's get them moved on because... Once you start creating this B team and C team and this, that, the other. And don't forget, there's a lot of players that are coming back from the loans as well. Like, you know, we've got players like Ian Martin will probably have Amper back, this, that, the other. It's already a big, like, we've already been very, very good to get rid of many players, but it's still a big squad. Uh, and we need to get rid of 
the remaining players and and then we have loan players coming back so there's still a quite a lot of work that needs to be done before the squad can be nailed down to about 24 to 25 players for the US tour so let's see you know what sort of outgoings that we can do the second phase of outgoings that we can do in the upcoming days so um, a lot of work cut out man a lot of work cut out and I want the best to happen for Maurizio Pochettino and the squad. Maurizio Pochettino invited all Chelsea staff to a barbecue yesterday to meet him and his team. He loves that barbecue. If you guys remember, um, well, maybe a month ago, when all the news of Maurizio Pochettino became solid that he was going to be the Chelsea manager, they were saying that he loves a barbecue. He wants to get the team together and the families together and the backroom staff together, everyone, all the support staff together at Chelsea Football Club and create a homely environment, create a sort of a family sort of environment and this is what's taking place this is the barbecue that happened apparently yesterday so kudos to Maurizio Pochettino to be able to do that Thiago Silva is the front runner to become the new Chelsea captain the three outsiders are Reese James Kepa and Raheem Sterling the final decision will be made later on in the preseason look this is the most um obvious selection like for me I was penciled down Thiago Silva to be the captain and as long as he's he, let him be the captain. He's the most experienced. He's the leader. And he should be the one guiding all of all the, the rest of the squad. Got a lot of young players as well. And then down the track, if we can mold Reese James into a into a captain. But don't disregard Enzo Fernandez. I think Enzo Fernandez, for me, is a mad, mad outside shout down the track to be the captain of Chelsea Football Club. Look, I definitely don't want to see Kepa being the captain again. Um, if anything, Kepa needs to leave Chelsea Football Club down the track. Raheem Sterling could potentially be a captain, but I'd rather, uh, I'd rather him not have to burden that particular um, role. He's just recently arrived at Chelsea Football Club, so I'd rather him focus on his game. Yeah, for me, Thiago Silva is the most... Um, makes makes the most sense next up ladies and gentlemen i wanted to share some pictures for for um for you guys from the training session that happened today all, all over pyss page do check that out um it's pochettino and i believe that is jesus perez his assistant manager so a lot of nice lovely pictures in the training ground tiago silva there ladies and gentlemen tiago silva is back uh, this is andre santos he's back as well so it'll be interesting to see how all of these players you know how they do in the preseason, Cesare Cassidy and Martin as well in the training ground. That's good to see. Reese James is back. Um, I think Reese James said that the hunt is on on Instagram uh, story. Do check that out. Big season ahead of Sterling, who returned today. There you go. Raheem Sterling is back and training well. I think in the background, I can see who's that. Is that Armando Breuer? Armando Breuer is back as well. Chalabar, Ben Chilwell, they're all back. Uh, Maurizio Pochettino in general. I saw his interview yesterday. Um, obviously, I first saw all the comments and quotes on, on Twitter, and then I, later on, I went and saw the video. I was very impressed, very impressed. I mean, he doesn't talk about project. He doesn't talk too much about process, this, that, the other. He comes out straight and says, Chelsea Football Club's about winning, man. We need to win. We have to win. And I love that conversation from him. I love the charisma that he had. I loved how he said, we don't need followers. We need leaders here in every aspect of the club. And everything he said, it felt like it was straight from the heart. It felt like he really meant it. And before the interview started, uh, the interviewer was saying, you know, do you need some time to practice a few things? Do you, do you know, do you want to you know, go through a few things? And he said, no, 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 let's do this. Let's do this off the, off the bat, straight up, you know, from, from the heart. You know, I don't need to practice any of these things. So, look, loved everything Maurizio Pochettino was saying. And he's, he's you know, slowly but surely growing on me. And I wish him all the best. Honestly, he's our gaffer now. I wish him all the best. And I hope he can rekindle, um, you know, everything that we used to be as, as a football club, winning trophies, winning titles. I hope he can bring that back to Chelsea Football Club. Massive. So, yeah, man, good luck to him and good luck to the squad. Chukamika is back in training as well. Andre Santos, another picture. Um, who is this? Please don't tell me that's Aubameyang. Who is that player? I hope Oba's not in training, man. Amanda Breuer is back into training. Lewis Hall, Reese James, the hunt is on. Look, my man, calm down with the hunt and all that. Stay focused, stay fit. That's more important. Um, the rest will take, uh, the rest will kind of take place as it is. All of these players, uh, yeah, I thought that guy was uh, Obameyang, but who is that guy? 
I don't know, it must be one of the academy players in um, Mala Gusto in the background, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. A little bit of a snippet of Mala Gusto just behind Ian Martin. Reese James with, um, if you guys remember, Bruno Saltor, one of our managers last season for one game. I thought this guy left, but he's still sticking around. So Chelsea do want to you know, value him and uh, seems like he's going to be part of the backroom staff for um, Maurizio Pochettino. So, yeah, look, seems like Bruno Saltor, um, a lot of people seem to like him at Chelsea Football Club, Maurizio Pochettino. And that is that. Next up, ladies and gentlemen. Um, okay, so... I'll might have just had that open and last but not least ladies and gentlemen um oh no actually i had that out because because of some because of some sponsorship news so i want to share something with you guys um uh, let me just refresh that i wanted to end with some sponsorship news um a very big English club tried to hijack the Vitor Roque to Barcelona deal. Yeah, Barcelona has got Vitor Roque, so that might have been us, maybe. Chelsea, no bid for Lavia because they're focused on Caicedo. Yeah, we'll get to that some other time. Um, 23 minutes ago, Chelsea having contacts in these hours for Matthias Franca. Chelsea have a budget for these Brazilian talents. Chelsea convinced going to, going on loan can make huge profits or stay in Chelsea first team. Franca decided undecided whether he will go on loan or stay with Pochettino there you go some people are saying he might be a first team player I need to start seeing a little bit more about um Matthias Franca let me know in the comment section is he a good player some of you guys rate him all right I wanted to end things with some sponsor talks talks between Chelsea and Stake are on pause according to people close to talks uh Stake now do not think the deal will happen following pushbacks from Chelsea supporters club look I don't want to get into too much of the stake conversation. Last time, you guys got really mad. Um, some supported me. Some got really irate. All I'm going to say, look, it's paused. It's paused. And the next up is this apparently is in fruition. Leaked photo suggesting a potential partnership between Chelsea and Oman Air. There you go. Oman Air, a very, very nice airlines. Um Quite lucrative in in the aviation industry. Oman Air and new sponsors uh, sponsors. Uh, I don't know uh, if this is legit or not, but hey, I wouldn't mind seeing Oman Air um, being being one of our sponsors, uh, in, well, the main sponsor for the shirt. So let me know, ladies and gentlemen, how you feel about this. All of this news that we've gone through, especially in regards to the incomings with Matthias Franca, Brian Cherky. Make some mounts, um, goodbye message as well. Let me know what you thought about that. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Smash the like button if you're here for the first time. Subscribe, hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. Until next time, see ya.